check talent one. Mic check. Mic check. Week nine, game of the week. Mic check. Coming at you live atop Runkle Field. Two minutes till game time. Mic check. Talent one, mic check. Intro music, test. Good evening, everybody. Welcome in to our Week 9 Game of the Week. Jerry Mack on the mic here with you alongside Jack Hartley as the Stevenson Height Titans host the Henry Ford Two Falcons in the Battle of the Turf. It's a Mack conference crossover this week between the Mack Red champion Stevenson Titans and the Henry Ford Falcons out of the Mack White division. Stevenson Titans head coached by Justin Newcomb. Henry Ford head coached by Tony Smith. get set to kick things off here in week nine. Henry Ford two Falcons will kick the ball off. They will be rocking the maroon pants with the gold jerseys with the maroon helmet as the Stevenson Titans rocking the traditional blue unis that we've seen all year decked out with the pink socks this week. 12 minutes on the clock at Runkle Field. 
Wind is gusting, as you can hear. As we expect a cold weather game. Bottom falls out, kick off. Toe punched along the turf. And it'll be covered up over there by the Titans neatly at the 35 yard line as we get underway. We apologize about the late start as rain has pushed us back this evening. Delayed start kickoff scheduled for eight o'clock underway a little bit early as storms have cleared out but the winds have not. Titans open things up with a heavy high formation out there. They're gonna split out of it. As we try and get settled in here, Madonna's gonna roll out to the right side, looking downfield going to be intended for Shoemate and over his head. Second down and 10 yards to go after the incomplete pass. As we try and get worked here in here on top of the press box here at Runkle Field, Madonna lets that one go over his receiver's head once again. So another incomplete pass is gonna bring up a third down and 10 situation for the Titans. opening minute here at Runkle Field between these two teams. Madonna's gonna get a single back to his right side, four wide for the Titans. Third down and 10, Madonna drops back to pass, looking left side. He's got wheels, buys himself some time and completes his pass to Tommy Houston. Check that Justin Smith on the completion. Madonna did a great job of buying himself some extra time there. Uh, found his receiver, able to pick up the first down, facing a third down and 10. Wind just absolutely ripping here. Stadium turf goes north to south. Wind coming in from the northwest. 60 degrees currently here in Sterling Heights. Give to Kwiatkowski to the left side. Stiff's arms, stiff arms a couple of men and tiptoes up that sideline to pick up eight, nine yards for the big fella. It's the junior running back, defensive end, Jordan Kwiatkowski, the workhorse as I've called them all year long, picking up the heavy load since the injury loss of Jordan Ramsey. Trips to the short side this time for the Titans. They're gonna go to the wide side of the field that Shoemate dancing in between defenders. Picks up a first down all the way down to the 38 yard line of the Falcons. Under two minutes gone here in this opening quarter. Tonight, as we finally get settled up here, we've got a mixture of all the temperature, all the weather climate that we've had all year long. Jet motion by Shoemate, fake to him. Madonna's gonna run to the right side and he's gonna be brought down for a loss of around seven yards. Nice defensive play there by the Falcons. One and four on the year, but fired up for this in-district rivalry. These two teams share this field, looking for battle rights. It's gonna bring up a second down in a long situation here for Stevenson. 
Donna gives to the left side. It's Kwiatkowski up the middle. He's got space and powers his way through a couple of defenders all the way down to the 35 yard line. So picks up around eight yards, cuts the deficit in half. Bring up third and eight now for the Titans. 9.33 on the clock here in the first quarter. We will try and start to begin to mix in some Nat Mikes down on the field, but this wind is just absolutely giving us a hard time tonight. Madonna barking out the offensive play to his linemen. Give to Kwiatkowski up the middle, powers his way forward. Wrapped up at around the 32, but falls down at the 29 yard line. Looks like he's gonna be about a yard short of the line of gain, bringing up a fourth down and one for the Titans. First drive of the game, decision time for head coach Justin Newcomb. Spot the ball. Madonna's going to be under center for this one. Up back split to the right. I believe that's Shoemate in the backfield. Give to Shoemate right side. Works his way off tackle. He's wrapped up right around the line of game and pushed himself forward, but then spun backwards. We'll see where the spot is. It looks like it's going to be good enough for a first down. Boy, that'll be close. Both referees have their toes just beyond that 29 yard line. And they're not going to measure it. Turnover on downs, big stop by the Henry Ford two Falcons on defense in this opening drive with eight minutes and 11 seconds to go here at Runkle Field. The Henry Ford two Falcons will take over. So a big stop by the Falcons defense. Exactly what they needed to open this drive, open this game and set the tone. So the Falcons are gonna take over first and 10 here, 8-11 eight, eight on the score clock. The first look at this Ford 2 Falcon offense is that win dies down. Give off the left side, nothing doing against that Titan line. Bring up a second down and 10 as we bring in Jack Hartley for that first drive of the game. A solid first drive here for Stevenson. They had nine plays rattling off two first downs, but ultimately coming up short on the fourth down. Taking off just a few and a half minutes there. Falcons gonna work that left side once again. Got the sideline in speed. Big pickup for the Falcons all the way across the 50 yard line. Goes number 13, Gary Nilsson, the senior running back. The first down for the Falcons. Ford two quarterback by number eight, the senior Josh Byers in command of that Falcon offense this week. Coming off their first win of the season last week against Lance Cruz North in a Mac White battle. First and 10 for the Falcons, seven and a half to play. Gives straight up the middle, right back to Nilsson. Muscles his way across the 50 yard line, all the way out to the Titan. 49. Brought down by Leduc and Kwiatkowski on that play, but not before a six yard pickup by the senior. Bring up second and four. Falcons looking good here in the first couple of plays. Titan Faithful trying to make some noise. Byers first pass complete out to the left side, rated right around the 45 yard line. That's complete to number two, Matthew Awe, the senior wide receiver. First down for the Falcons. And Henry Ford two has things going to open up this game. 
exactly what you want to see from uh, Henry Ford early on, showing some, that they're not intimidated by Stevenson coming into a big Mack Rudd matchup like this. Byers gives to Nilsson left side. This time met behind the line of scrimmage, but escapes contact. Looks like he picked up around a yard or two, brought down in bounds. As we welcome Jack Hartley into our broadcast for the remainder of the game. Yeah. Now that we begin to Finally get things in. situated. It was tough with that weather moving in. Storms hit earlier than expected. But it still took a minute for it to clear out for us to get up here and Catch get our set up. At least. We got to kick off live for him. Yeah, we did. Anything for the fans, Mac, anything for the fans. Hey, we, we'll let him see the ball game. Take us six minutes to get settled in, but we'll give you We'll give you some energy for the rest of the way here now. Falcons, Nilsson set to the right side, give up the middle and cuts back to the right. Nothing doing, line of scrimmage. Titans gonna push him back. Nice defensive play there by Stevenson. It's gonna bring up Henry Ford's first, uh, first third down situation of the night. We'll see what they cook up on offense. Checking into the game for the Falcons is number 22, Christopher Williams, the thick junior. Kid's awfully wide from looking way up here. Indeed. It's not a bad view up here on top of the press box here at Runkle Field. We've gotten extremely comfortable up here this year. So far, the weather has cooperated with us all year long. The wind's given us the business tonight, but we'll get through that. Flag on the play. Looked like the right guard jumped, number 56. Beat our first penalty of the night. That'll cost the Falcons five yards. A little anxious to get off the ball there on third down. So that'll walk them back five yards and bring up a third down and 13 now for the Falcons. Bring the ball all the way back to the 47, 48 yard yeah, line. Yeah, looks like the 48 yard line there. Now what you see a lot from Stevenson now on third down, no boy and Kwiatkowski every single time and he blows up that line right in the middle. He times it perfectly almost every time. Once he gets that cadence down, he's gonna be firing on every, almost every third sure down they will. have. The Jordan special, we've seen it all year long. We'll see if they yeah, dial there it up he is. here. Right through, Falcons do a nice job of picking it up. Nice play call by the Wide Falcons, there's Nilsson. Good enough for the first down all the way down to the 29 yard line, stays on his feet. That's just a beautiful run by the young man. Gets it all the way down to the 26 yard line. A big, big pickup for the Falcons on third and long. They get creative and give it to Nilsson on the misdirection. And that wide side of the field was wide open for the young man and he's got speed. Yeah, they had space. He had a lot of space. Took advantage of all that turf. Let's see if they can capitalize here. This would be the biggest uh, momentum shift that Henry Ford, this is what they wanted to do. Byers takes the snap, gives up the middle, squeaks between a couple of linemen is Nilsson. Already with the heavy load on this first drive, you can see what the Falcons are gonna try and do tonight. As Nilsson's gonna check out and get a breather. Already got six carries on this first drive. Three and a half on the clock here at Runkle Field, opening quarter. First time seeing Ford. Initial look at them, they're a good sized team and they look like they've got some nice athletes on the outside as well. Byers drops back to pass. Oh, he has them. He's got his man, touchdown Falcons. Matthew Waugh, the second time we call his name tonight. This time for a touchdown. Hit his man off with the double move and wide open he was. And Byers did a nice job of dropping that in with the wind crossing his face and the Falcons cap off a touchdown drive to start things off here what in our start. week nine game of the week. Falcons in to attempt the extra point. I believe that's number nine, Andrew Johnson. Captain Jack here, they're gonna go with it. There's the two point wow, conversion. What a, what a design of play that was. So we've seen the Captain Jack all year long and finally see a team pull the string on it. 
and go with the jump pass. Nicely done by the Falcons, offensively and creatively, to open up the battle of the turf as Henry Ford comes out to a 7-0 lead over Stevenson. 3.17 on the clock here at Runkle Field. We'll keep it right here. Take this opportunity to thank our sponsors, D&H Window Cleaning and Mill Heating and Cooling. Of course, both companies locally owned and operated right here in Macomb County. More details for both businesses coming up here shortly. But if you are interested in sponsoring a game of the week here with Macomb Preps, contact us at macpreps at gmail.com. Once again, that email is macpreps at gmail.com. Of course, we want to thank everybody for tuning in to our YouTube channel. That drive taking up five minutes nine plays and they pick up two first downs and a 19 yard strike and Ford coming right out of the gate with a big fourth down stop and turning that right into points to begin the game. Couldn't have scripted it any better for the Falcons. They open up things in a big way in the battle of the turf and they're feeling good. Leave that shoemate back deep for the Titans but that ball goes on the ground once again and wide, wisely picked up and recovered by Kane Parker. with us here. We're not going anywhere. Oh man. This wind is just brutal. We can't even set up the net mic right now. Jet sweep Shoemate. by the Titans. Shoemate, nice cutback. Making Straight up the middle of the field. Those. Indeed he did. All the way out to the 38 yard line. It's a nice chunk of pickup on first down for the Titans. Second down and six. I know the Titans are gonna wanna come out and regain some tempo here. 4-2 just coming out, fired up and striking defensively first and offensively. Hold on to a seven nothing lead here in the opening quarter. Three minutes and seven seconds on the clock. Two to the left side of the screen. Madonna gives up the middle to Kwiatkowski. Steps in between like two or three holes all the way out to the 47 yard line for a pickup of around nine yards. Official spot at the 47, first down for the Titans. I have a feeling we will see a heavy load of Jordan Kwiatkowski once again as the night goes on. I would assume so. He's uh, he's really taken over that workload since losing Ramsey and he's done everything all solely. I believe he picked up a couple of player of the week awards locally as well here in the Macomb Area Conference. Madonna drops back to pass. He's gonna use his feet to step up. This time he tucks it, he's gonna run. Right side giving chase. His number 24 throwing Madonna out of bounds. Nick Miller, the senior, closed the gap quickly on Madonna. No easy task. Wrapped him up nicely and threw him out of bounds. Nice disciplined play by the Falcons defense. Second down and eight now for the Titans. So far they're not making things easy. They're making Stevenson move the ball progressively. They're not giving up the big chump plays, trying to avoid what Gross Point South did last week. Falcons in that three, four stack look. Give to Kwiatkowski left side off tackle. Lots of room all the way down to the 39 yard line. 37, 36. We'll just keep counting off those yards after contact for the big fella. First down for the Titans. It's like they're gonna give it to him and they're gonna say, hey, have fun trying to tackle him. As we are keeping an eye on that radar, just been notified that another round of storms Maybe heading for us here in Sterling Heights. Kwiatkowski up the middle. We'll just wait for that young man to get done doing his business. 
This time all the way down to the 32 yard line. I mean, the after contact workload that he provides is just absolutely impressive. I mean, any single time, you, don't, you never see a single guy tackle him. It always takes two or three, it always takes a lot of heads of the ball. Kwiatkowski steps off for a drink of water, in comes Shoemate. He'll be set to the left side of Madonna, trips up to the wide side. Madonna rolls out right. He's got a man downfield, overthrows him. Had a couple of men open. But that one falls incomplete, intended for number 12. That's Dominic Reyes. Called his name a few times last week against Gross Point South. He came up big in a couple of third and fourth down situations for the Titans. Titans with a big win last week against Gross Point South. Huge. Featured right here on our Macomb Preps Game of the Week. Clinching a share of that Mac Red title. Madonna back to pass. Once again, sprints out to the right. Hits his man in the flat. Believe that shoemate. Check that Tommy Houston. They're gonna spot him. It looks like just short from our vantage point. Looks like another fourth and one right in the same spot as last time. You see where that uh, official spot is. Just shy of the 27 yard line, I believe. Jack, you hit it right on the spot. It looks like it's gonna be about fourth down and one once again. Checking back in is Jordan Kwiatkowski. It's a nice job of Madonna by hitting Houston in the flat. I would imagine you have to go to Kwiatkowski here. Pistol formation. As the first quarter comes to an end here at Runkel Field. This game started off with a little bit of firepower. Seven points on the board so far. But you can feel the energy coming through this one. It's whipping through just as hard as that wind. Yeah. That much. Six first downs in that first uh, first quarter combined here, and four from uh, Stevenson. But once again, we got Henry Ford on top, eight nothing. You th whenever there's a rivalry game like this, you throw records out the window every single time. It doesn't matter. These teams hate. E they, these teams have very much dislike about each other, and they want to own this field. A lot of history between these two teams. Specifically, back in the 80s and 90s, both these two teams were powerhouses and perennial MAC Red teams, and used to meet quite frequently. First battle of the turf, I believe, in what five years? Yes, 2015 was the last time these two met. And it was 35-7, uh, Stevenson came out on top. Right now, Stevenson's riding a four-game winning streak in this rivalry. Falcons coming out with something to say about it this week. They want that changed. So these two teams will flip fields. Stevenson now moving left to right on your broadcast. Madonna under center, fourth and one. Give to Kwiatkowski, wide open hole. He's got the first down plus more. Nice job of bringing him down. By that Falcon secondary, that was number 18, John Tauber, the junior D-back. That's a big fella to bring down. Kwiatkowski finally brought down at the 18-yard line. As the Titans step into that red zone for the first time tonight. Moving quickly. Give it right back to Kwiatkowski. This time around the right end, steps back. In off the sideline. And finally brought down at the five-yard line just inside of it appears to be the four yard line. Good enough for another first down. Clock will continue to roll. So it'll be first down and goal for the Titans. They hurry things back up, right back to that I formation. Looks like the, the Henry Ford got the timeout just in time. Jason Stewart, the up back in that formation for the Titans. You see him run that same formation out of pistol a lot. This time, Madonna going under center here in this drive. Where they bring in that lineman type, they put him right behind the left tackle. So Ford 2 burning their first time out with 11.21 here on the clock. As the marching band is getting it in in that north end zone, can see him on our camera view. Don't know if we can pick him up on the mics tonight. Again, we've got a lot of the nap mics turned down as this wind is just brutal on our audio equipment. But back to action we go as the Falcons 
break their defensive timeout, return to the field, leading eight nothing, trying to preserve that lead here in the second quarter at Runkel Field. Madonna under center, Kwiatkowski follows Stewart on the right side. Up the middle he goes, touchdown, big fella. In from four yards out as the Titans strike for their first time tonight. Bringing that scoreboard eight to six. Into the into attempt the extra point, Kyler Castle. We'll see if he kicks it. Stevenson also sets up check, Captain Jack. They'll set it up to the right side. Saw Ford set it up to the left side. Last touchdown. Bring the big fellas into the line of scrimmage. Looks like they're gonna give Castle the green light. Wind in his face, slightly crossing it. Snap is good, hold is down, kick is up. Into the tuba section it goes, fire up that Titan marching band. We've got an 8-7 ball game here at Runkle Field. Week nine, game of the week, final week of the regular season. As these two teams, as well as all of the teams pretty much in the state of Michigan will be heading in to the MHSAA state playoff tournament next week. All teams getting in this year due to the shortened season. Well, that scoring drive took up 10 plays, just uh, just under four minutes, and they acquired four first downs on the drive. Stevenson really did a good job moving the ball, and they moved it within one point in the game. So Stevenson able to finish off this drive, very similar to that first drive we saw, but able to pick up the fourth down and one this time. Unable to do so on the first drive. Helps when you have a back like Kolakowski that just is guaranteed almost five yards a carry tonight. Season has done, his, done him well. I'm sure the young fellow will start to get a lot of looks after the performance he's turned in this week, but still a lot of work to do for the Titans. I believe he's still got another year of eligibility, right? He's only Absolutely. a junior. Absolutely, he's only a junior, but it's never too early in the game of recruiting these days. It's not the same as what it used to be. Got that right. Here's the kickoff. High, short kick, end over end. Looks like it's gonna hit the ground. Bounces oh, backward, trouble for the Falcons. Nice job of covering it up by that Falcon special team. We'll see if we get a number there. Looks like number five, Ryan Morgan. We saw that kick work very well for Gross Point South a couple weeks in a row against Chippewa Valley and here last week against Stevenson. Created a combined four turnovers in two weeks. Which led in part to a 21 point comeback before the Titans were able to put the Blue Devils away in the final minutes. But it worked against the Titans so why not use it tonight? Try and use that win to their advantage. And I'm sure you can hear it but if you can't, Step outside at halftime. Falcons come out with the single back. Nilsson, wide side, tries to cut it up off the tight end. Met by a whole bunch of Titans, I believe led by Shoemate. No Score. gain on the play. So it'll bring up a second and 10 as Byers makes his way to the huddle. Scoreboard update, Jack? Yeah, we got a 23-3 right now in the Commerce Township as Romeo travels to Wall Lake Northern tonight. I'll be on the Twitter account trying to uh, pick up some extra scores here as we go along. Pro formation for the Falcons. Byers back to pass, quick slant left side. Another completion to all. Titans want to say it's a fumble as Kwiatkowski rips that ball off with a little bit of enthusiasm there. But they rule them down all with his third catch, I believe, on the night. Nice route there as Byers hit him quick on the quick slant. And Byers and uh, Aud did the rest, picking up a first down for the Falcons at their own 41 yard line. 10 08 on the clock here in the second quarter. 4-2 with an 8-7 lead over the Titans here in our week nine game of the week. Right back to that pro formation. This time, Nilsson trying to go off tackle, nothing doing. 
Jankowski coming in there, full speed ahead. Like you always like to bring up both sides of the ball. That's where he's, uh, he's very important to the Stevenson team. Well, if you talk to the young man, he'll tell you he's a defensive player, true and true. And that's the most impressive part. I mean, he gives you everything he's got defensively, play after play, knowing that that's his bread and butter and that's his, his fun spot. But then you put him in on offense and there's no, there's no letdown. The no. intensity's the same, the kid just keeps on working. He's a grinder. But he was in there on that tackle along part of that entire left side of that Titan defensive line. Second down and 11, Byers looking to the right side. Gonna buy some time with his legs, got his man. That's all, crossing there midfield now. Looks like Ramirez he has the first down. Well, it'll be close. Looks like they're gonna give him that extra spot. Check that, that wasn't awe. That was number three, Santos Kipper. The other senior wide receiver. First time calling his name tonight. Impressive job by Byers, buying himself some time with his legs. It was good looking QB the Falcons have there. Always, uh, always nice to see a guy getting out of the pocket, making a play with his legs. He looks like he's got to stand at least, at least 6'2 or 6'3 in a helmet. Stands comfortably back there in the shotgun. Steps back to pass once again. Going to try it deep this time for all. Oh, what got a pass. His man. As all is going to be tripped up and shoestring tackle by Tommy Houston. But not before he gets the big play all the way down to the 12-yard line. And that's just an impressive catch. Went up over his man. The coverage was tight as it looked like the D-back had a chance to tip it away. And then the safety was just under it, just barely under the play. That's what I mean. So a big pickup for the Falcons, setting up a first down and 10 from the Titan 12 yard line. They're gonna go heavy formation, power backfield. Byers gonna try and get him to jump off sides. Steps back, now under center once again. Give to Nilsson, right side. Nice job of that Titan defense, bottling him in. Justin Smith on the tackle. Kwiatkowski stepping out of that pile as well. 7.35 here on the clock in the second quarter. Henry Ford knocking on the door once again, holding on to an 8-7 lead here in the Battle of the Turf. Not sure how many people saw this start coming. But like we said, you got to throw records and everything else. All, all logic goes out the window when you go to rivalry games like this. Byers back to the shotgun formation. Nilsson, single back set to the left side. Flag coming out of the back judge. They're going to give it a delay a game call. Ford's uh, second offensive penalty of the night. As this one happens in a bad spot. Down near the Titan 10 yard line. So it'll bring up a second down and 15 situation. Ball will be put on the 17 yard line. Just under seven to go here in the second quarter. Clock ticking. Ford doing a good job of holding on to the ball. The second straight drive, they've taken off five minutes or more. Give to Nilsson, he's gonna pass Wide it back open. to Byers. There the he Philly is. special, touchdown, 4-2. Ford, Ford pulling out all the tricks right now. Another touchdown by the Falcons. Off creativity as they gave to Nilsson to the right side. And Byers broke free to the left side all alone. Wasn't too sure if that ball was gonna be just outside of the reach of Byers. You never know. Like with but we uh, talked about yeah. the speed and the athleticism that Byers showed, buying himself some time, and he was able to get his fingertips under that ball. Nilsson leads him right into the end zone. Beautiful play by the Falcons. 14-7 lead with the extra point to go. Snap is down, kick is end over end right through the uprights. As Henry Ford jumps out to a 15 to seven lead 
here at Runkle Field in the Battle of the Turf. And you know emotions gotta be running high over on that Falcon sideline. 6.30 on the scoreboard. Henry 4-2 seems to be doing everything right so far tonight in this one. That last scoring drive taking up eight plays just over five minutes once again and uh, Falcons pulling out the trickery on the Falcons special there and going up by eight. All the momentum on their side right now. I mean, this is what they wanted. This is a picture perfect start for right now for Henry Ford. Well, when you can get over a uh, turnover on downs to start this game with a fourth and one against a big team like Stevenson, that'll shift over the mojo a little bit and you gotta ride it as long as possible. That's exactly what the Falcons are doing is they're gonna drive this kick to the sideline. It'll bounce out of bounds. See if Stevenson sends out the offense or if they're gonna elect for the re-kick. It looks like they're going to accept the penalty. Ball will be spotted at the 35 yard line of the Titans. as that Ford defense quickly jumps out to that field, you know they're ready to go. Here comes the Titan offense, Kwiatkowski in the backfield to start this drive. Madonna will start it out under center. There's Kwiatkowski. Off the stretch zone play. Steps inside of all at the quarter. Ball looked like it spot. came out there. And it is, that's forward. They're gonna give that ball to the Henry Ford Falcons as Kwiatkowski coughed it up at the very last minute. As we just got done talking about the momentum and the Falcons riding it as long as possible. There you go. Another, another turnover, this one. Instead of the way of downs coming off the way of fumble, as the Falcons alertly jumped on that. I took my eyes off that play for one minute and that ball coughed out. And the Henry Ford knows what they're I doing. Know. They're getting- Oz helmet came off. They're getting heads to the football. That's what I was looking at. Come to find out that ball was out. Henry Ford scrapping at it, taking away from the Titans. They're gonna take over first and 10 Man, on the Titan start. 44 yard line, everything going. Henry Ford two's way, 6.18 on the clock here in the second quarter. Gonna get a timeout here called by the Titans. Looking like Coach Newcomb probably wants to get them uh, regrouped here, making like, hey, buckle down here, we need to stop. Not a bad time to take a breather, talk about things and try and slow it down. Pretty quick pace to this game so far. I believe kickoff was just a few minutes before eight o'clock. 7.57 was uh, the opening kickoff. 8.36, 8.37 on the clock right now. So we're 40 minutes in. And this one is three quarters of the way through the first half. Falcons have a 15-7 lead. Touched the ball uh, twice and scored twice. Both taking five minutes or more off the clock, so they're mean. There's 10 minutes off the first 20 or, uh, yeah. Stevenson has had the ball three times and Ford has taken it away from them twice. Falcons wearing the gold jerseys here in the Battle of the Turf. Little retro look for the Falcons. Give to the right side with space. Down to the 37 yard line goes Christopher Williams, the junior running back. He's got some speed on him as well, but a 
Looks like a little bit bigger and more of a physical back than Nilsson. But I should watch what I say because Nilsson's already piling up some yards and they've been physical as well. Falcons look impressive out of those skilled positions. They look big up front too. Nice solid one-two combo right now in the backfield. Looks like they've got them both in the backfield here. See which way they go, all set to the left side. They're gonna go to Nilsson up the middle. Ahead he goes for around four or five yards. We'll see if it's enough. Looks like he's gonna be just short. Bring up a third and one. But right as we, right as I mentioned, a little bit different of a back. As Williams might look a little bit thicker, they give to Nilsson in between the tackles and say, okay, watch this. And he picked up four yards impressively to set up a third down and one for the Falcons. Five minutes on the clock here in the second quarter. Oz gonna come all the way down to the short side of the screen. Give to Nilsson, working the right side. He's got a lead blocker, follows him. Out of bounds at the 28 yard line. Another first down for 4-2. And offensively, just taking what they want so far all game long. Right now that's their sixth first down of the game. Both teams really moving the ball. I, I think there's 12 combined first downs between the two teams in the first half. So we're seeing a lot of action here early on. We have seen a lot of offense from both, time, uh, both teams. The difference being right now is the Falcon defense They've come up with two key stops, one on a turnover on downs and one on the fumble from Jordan Kwiatkowski that they recovered here on the Titan side of the field. They are currently in the midst of that drive. So looking to capitalize off of the turnover point-wise. Byers letting it go to all. Got it in the wind. Bounces right off his chest. Over the shoulder catch attempt by all. It was a nicely placed ball. Looked like it floated That's exactly last where you minute. Want to put it. it was, yes. Couldn't have a much better throw in these conditions with the wind right now. That was Adam Abood on the coverage. He was in all his back pocket. But again, Byers getting some nice loft on that ball. Placing it in there nicely, given the wind. Like giving what I chance. see out of that Falcon quarterback so far. Josh Byers. Shotgun formation for the Falcons. Nilsson and Williams in the backfield. All trouble with the snap there. Fire's gonna elect to keep it himself. Skeet it out to the edge quickly, but shoved out of bounds right at the line of scrimmage. But again, showing some athleticism, bringing in that bad snap one-handed, one -handed, being on high alert, knowing enough just to tuck it and run. Looks like he's gonna actually lose a yard on that play, so it'll bring up third down and 11. Right now they're moving the ball so well, this is only the third, third, third down they faced. Third and 11, Nilsson sets to the right side of Byers. Looks to the left side, slant pass. They're gonna get him on the flag. In. That was Tony Shoemate on the coverage. Jumped that route early, but he went through the back of the Falcon receiver. Contact made before the ball will get there. We'll see what the end result of this penalty is. Pass interference on that Titan defense on a third and 11. And that gives them another first down on third down. Yes, it does. Ball will be spotted all the way down at the Titan 14 yard line. And give the Titans, check that, I'm sorry, the Falcons a first down in the Titan red zone once again. See if they've got any creativity to finish this drive off. Counter play to Nilsson. They went right back to the first touchdown play. Almost like a Statue of Liberty play as Byers fakes the throw and gives underneath to Nilsson the same play that they scored on with the first touchdown. Looks like a gain of seven on the play. Nice pickup on first down. Falcons moving the ball very well on first down tonight. 3.37 on the clock in the second quarter. 
as we fight through the wind on top of the press box here at Runkle Field. Now, we've been fortunate with the weather all year long, Jack, so I mean, yeah, we, you know we're gonna get it at least one time. Oh, Fumbled snap, Byers quickly jumps on it, alertly saving this drive opportunity for the Falcons. They'll bring up third down and three. No yardage lost on the fumble. You know Ford's got to be feeling good about the opening of this game. They lead 15 to seven. With a chance to up it to two scores here. Successful two point conversion, two takeaways. Power eye formation, three backs. Kwiatkowski shows looks blitz. Like looks jumped. like he might have jumped it a little bit. See if it's on the oh, offense we're getting an or the offside defense. Call. They're gonna give it. They're gonna penalize the defense. Wasn't too sure if it was Kwiatkowski trying to jump that blitz or the down lineman next to him, but somebody in the middle was a little bit too close to that ball when that ball was snapped. Blowing that whistle dead. Two first downs off of penalties on third down here for uh, for the Titans. That's not what you want to see here. I think that was the story of the Titans a little bit last week against Gross Point South as well. I went both ways though. Gross Point South had their share fair, fair share of penalties last week also. Power eye, heavy back to the right. Give up to, to the, the up fullback. back, up the middle, pushing his way ahead. And it looks like he's gonna be ruled down at the one yard line. Wasn't too sure if he powered his way in there. I think that was number 24, Nick Miller. Yeah, it was either 24 or 34. It was hard to get a read on that number there. And if it wasn't Nick Miller, then it was Johnny Habash. Or uh, maybe it was 24, let's see the uh, They're the both formation. back there. No, Johnny Habash is in that up back spot. Miller set to the right side. Nilsson in the back. Give to Nilsson. Barely got off the tackle off right off. side. Touchdown. Falcons. The big fellas up front. All credit to them on the finish of that drive. So the Falcons jump out to a 21-7 lead. They've scored on all three possessions so far tonight and have controlled the clock well. Again, another five minute drive. Here comes the extra point. Short kick, but it's accurate. So Henry Ford out to a 22-7 lead over the Stevenson Titans here in the Battle of the Turf at Runkel Field as a few raindrops start to move in as well. Felt like a light mist for a second there, not much as far as heavy drops go. But as of right now, you still have us live here at Runkle Field with a minute 48. Again, everything weather permitting, exposed to the elements up top here at Runkle Field. So if the heavy stuff comes in and the TV screen goes black, Please understand, we're running for it. So 22 to seven, the Falcons lead the Titans. Well, you had nine plays and then you had two penalties on third down to give uh, Henry Ford on that last drive, taking again just under five minutes. So they've been controlling the clock every time they've had the ball resulting and then extending that lead back out to two scores. So we'll see what the Falcons do with the kickoff here. They've been kicking it short for the most part all game long. They're gonna let this one go deep. Long driving kick into the corner. This one's gonna hit the end zone. That's what the doctor ordered. Everything's going Henry Ford's way right now. Sure is, just a low driving kick. Letting the wind work it. And he kept it in between the pylons. Well, so no return for the Titans. They'll set up shop first and 20 on their own 20 yard line with a minute 48 left here in this first half. Well, with under two minutes, you're not gonna see it's gonna be a lot of passing here. Let's see if Stevenson uh, can go through the air when Ford's knows what comes maybe. Once again, thank you everybody for tuning in to our week nine, our final regular season game of the week. Jerry Mack on the mic alongside Jack Hartley. 
starting off as our sideline reporter, filling in duties nicely the last few weeks. Madonna, quick out to Shoemate. As Shoemate gets wrapped up and fights his way all the way out just shy of the 30 yard line. Pick up a nine on first down. Titans with two timeouts in their pocket. 90 seconds to go here in the half. Madonna shotgun, Kwiatkowski set to the right side. Madonna looking over the middle. That one was intended for Houston. Madonna unable to hit him. Throwing into that crosswind. So it'll stop the clock, but it's gonna bring up a third down and one for the Titans with a minute and 19 to go here in the second quarter. See what Ford uh, can dial up here on defense and get the stop. Ford two dialing up the blitz. They bring everybody, Madonna's gotta go. He'll pick up the first down, but he'll pay the price for it as well. And you can just see everything Ford two is doing they're doing it with aggression and passion right now. Titans pick up the first down. Clock will stop momentarily. Again, still two timeouts in the pocket of the Titans. Ball will be spotted at the 35 yard line. Madonna empty backfield. Three to the bottom of your screen. That's Reyes out wide here. But Houston was the middleman. Justin Smith was the inside of the trips as the Falcons are gonna burn a defensive timeout with a minute and five to go on the clock here in the second quarter. Falcons taking the defensive timeout. They wanna preserve this 15 point lead and why not? You've got the timeouts, you can't take them with you. And as we start the fourth quarter over there, Dakota has a 35-16 lead over to Traverse City Center, I believe they bring it in tonight. Another team that could be dangerous come playoff time. District pairings are out. A lot of teams still battling and jockeying for seating position. Everything should pretty much be wrapped up tonight. Might be a few games tomorrow, but pairings should be out real soon. Well, pairings are out, seating should be out real soon. So here we go, 105 on the clock. Madonna, empty backfield, drops back to pass. Looking over the middle, deep ball into the wind, got his man! That wind looked like it killed that ball or else it might have got there. Justin Smith beat his defender deep. And fresh out of the timeout. I know that might turn a coach's hair or two gray on that Falcon sideline coming out of that timeout. You know you gotta be telling your guys, don't get beat deep, don't get beat deep but this wind heavily affecting Madonna's arm tonight. So it'll bring up second and 10. And you hear that wind just whipping through. Nice job picking up the blitz by the Titan offensive line. Madonna's gonna try and go, but his feet come out from under him. Third loss of one, so it'll bring third and 11, and the Titans are gonna have to burn the timeout to stop this clock. Fifth first down, or fifth third down opportunity for Stevenson tonight so far, two for four. Well, this one's gonna be a big one as the Titans just take a timeout to stop this clock with the third down. So if they don't pick it up, four two still with the timeout can stop the clock and potentially try and block a punt. Heavy wins. Wow, we. Sorry about that. Of 49 seconds on the clock, and this wind is just whipping through, and you can actually feel the wind rotating here on top of the press box. It was more of a crosswind, but you start to feel it come in from the north. And there was reports of rain coming in from the northwest. We'll see what happens. Madonna drops back to pass. He's gonna scramble to the left side, gets rid of it. Picks up Shoemate. Shoemate picks up a block and hits the left edge. So the Titans go three of four 
Check that three of five now on third down. Clock will stop momentarily. Nice pickup for the Titans into the Falcons territory. 38 and a half on the clock. Titans still with one timeout. Kwiatkowski checking back in for the Titans. Madonna sprints out to the right side, gives a pump fake. He's gonna tuck it and run, cuts back on the man. Picks up an extra couple of yards and able to get out of bounds, tackled by Miller. Miller got him once earlier. Madonna tried to hit the brakes, hoping Miller would fly right by. Miller's got a, some nice wide shoulders and some long arms there. Not letting Madonna out of the, the grasp. But the clock will stop. Just under 30 seconds to play here in the second quarter. Empty backfield for Madonna. Second down and one. Falcons in a nickel package. Four to the wide side. They look to the short side. Pass is complete. And out of bounds goes the receiver. That's Dominic Reyes. Second, second pass completion of the night to Reyes. Picks up a first down. Clock moving 20 seconds. Madonna's going to spike the ball and stop the clock with 19 and a half to go in the second quarter. Titans staring at a 15 point deficit going into the half, trying to close it a little bit. Ford two will receive the ball in the second half. Titans go right back to that same formation, four to the wide side. Madonna's gonna look that way, but have to scramble to his right side. Miller giving chase again. Check that, Habash giving chase this time. That forces Madonna out of bounds, a, line, a yard behind the line of scrimmage, but it'll stop the clock. Madonna wisely conceding the play, stepping out of bounds to stop that clock. Stevenson still with the timeout on the scoreboard. So they do have the ability to still work the middle of the field. They'll stay in an empty formation, three to the wide side. Kwiatkowski and Reyes to the short side. Madonna looks left, into the wind, lets it go. Corner route, got his man, touchdown, Titans! Dylan Kleinedler. Deep corner route into the end zone. And Madonna let it fly right into the wind. You know he had to give it everything he had. This time connects with Klein Edler on the deep pass completion for the touchdown. Nice two minute work of offense for the Titans. They were down 15 just moments ago. 22-13, now the scoreboard with six seconds to play in the first half. And Henry Ford is gonna use their third and final timeout, possibly anticipating a two-point conversion of Stevenson's own out of that Captain Jack. But again, they had that, they had that extra timeout. Might as well use it and talk about it, cover all your bases. because this one is a close game. And something tells me that we've got another close one going into the second half. Wind whipping through here. It's about the time of the night where they say the temperature is about to fall out. And when I, I say fall out, they're about to pull the roof out from underneath our feet. It's about to drop 20 degrees here in the next hour and a half, two hours. Tightens in the attempt the extra point. Kick is up and through. Nice work by the Titans. Putting points on the board here in the final minutes of the second quarter. 6.1 seconds on the clock. And Henry Ford will be tasked with taking care of this ball on the kick return. as the Titan marching band fires up that Stevenson fight song. And again, if you can't hear them, 
this week we apologize. We're at the mercy of Mother Nature and this wind is whipping through our headset mics bad enough affecting our audio quality that I just can't turn on the net mics. I'm gonna set to start a little bonfire up here at the half. Warm up my toesies. Whew. Another gust of wind coming at you live here. As Jack Hartley is in to recap that last Titan touchdown drive. It took a, uh, 11 plays on that drive, three first downs picking up, and they picked up two third down conversions and did what they needed to do in a minute 42 to make sure they're within eight going into the half. Tim Allos in for the kickoff duties for the Titans. We'll see if they allow this one to drop one more time if they're just going to send somebody out to hold it. As Romeo extends their lead over Wald Lake Northern, 26-3. Romeo getting it in at Barnabo Field. I think they traveled over to Commerce today. They traveled to Walbeck Northern. That kick hits the turf and bounces out of bounds. It looks like the Falcons are gonna send their offense out onto the field. So the ball will be placed at the Falcon 35 yard line with six ticks on the scoreboard in the second quarter. No timeouts for the Falcons. I would assume if you're up, I would just assume a kneel, take it into the half, regroup on each side. But man, that felt Safe Ford assumption, but in a rivalry game with creativity, you never know. Especially with how Ford, you're right, with how Ford's pulled off that uh, couple of those trick plays. It looks like they're bringing in the tight formation though. Looks like they're gonna snap the ball and run this one out and run into the locker room up eight. Man, what a on start the back for Ford. Red champion Stevenson Titans. So the Henry Ford two Falcons got to be feeling good about the first half of play. Moving the ball exceptionally well. Scoring on all three of their drives. Converting on a two point conversion. And almost 15 minutes of time of possession in that first half. 15 minutes of time of possession. Two turnovers for the Falcon defense. And they go in to the locker room with an eight point lead here at Runkle Field in the battle of the turf against the Mac Red champion Stevenson Titans. So 20 minutes on the scoreboard for halftime entertainment. We're going to check out and go to break here shortly and return to action for the second half. We're gonna check that radar and see if anything is moving in as well. Thanks for tuning in to our week nine game of the week halftime here at Runkle, Runkle Field.
Thanks to our tonight to uh, Stevenson Varsity Dance Team, coached by Janelle Ruby and Morgan Ruby. Dance Team consists of Melina Colon, Bree Deal, Molly Cole, Chelsea Griffin, Chloe Griffin, Alyssa Shorba, Angela Canola, Kaya Kolasar, Samantha Husky, Maya Meek, Casey King. Welcome back to the second half of our week nine game of the week here at Runkle Field. Halftime entertainment has wrapped up here at the Battle of the Turf. We've had a great game so far. The Henry Ford two Falcons leading the Stevenson Titans 22 to 14. Ford has scored on all three of their possessions and have forced two turnovers on defense. Everything going well for the Falcons right now as we bring in Jack Hartley to recap the stats of that first half. So for starting on the home side for Stevenson, it was they had a 10 first downs in the first half, had only one penalty overall, were four or six on third down, but they did have the two turnovers. Flipping it to the other side with Henry Ford, they had nine first downs. They were four or four cumulatively on third down, two of those being picked up by penalties and they had two penalties themselves with zero turnovers. So Henry Ford coming out and having a great first half and basically what they wanted to do to start this game. Time of, the, time of possession heavily favored by the Falcons right now. They've done a great job controlling that ball in the three possessions that they've had, racking up over 15 minutes of time of possession in that first half. And when we say two turnovers for that Falcon defense, one was a fumble recovery, but one was on the first drive. It was a turnover on downs. Stevenson had faced a fourth down and one in Ford territory on the opening drive, and the Falcon defense came up big to force the turnover on downs. But here we go. Stevenson able to score in the final two minutes of that first half as final scores are coming in from around the league. This one kicked off right before eight o'clock. A lot of the games on par kicked off at seven. So we are a little bit behind the rest of the league in most games. That just means everybody can tune in to the rest of our week nine game of the week here on Macomb Preps. And, and another, um like red white crossover game Eisenhower comes out on top over Anchor Bay 24 to nothing and right now Romeo up 32 to 9 with under a minute left in the fourth quarter at Wald Lake Western and Dakota coming off I don't have the score right off the top of my head but Dakota came off a handily win over Traverse City Central in their game tonight that was Nathaniel Stewart -Hell. had trouble fielding that kickoff Bounced around a couple of times in front of him. Able to jump on it though. Stevenson came out of that locker room, fired up, and they got a little bit of a walk here from their locker room to the field, and you could hear him come out of that locker room. Ford two also fired up as well. A lot of pride on the line in tonight's Macomb Area Conference crossover game between Ford and Stevenson. That's Byers handing off to Nilsson. He's gonna be mugged by a handful of Titans. Picked up of around, about a one and a half yards. But you can see that the Stevenson Titan defense has took it up another level. Falcons will have their hands full in the second half, but they are preserving an eight point lead with the ball to start this second half. Time of possession in favor of the Falcons, and it will be a friend to the Falcons the rest of this uh, rest of the way through here at Runkle Field. And 
Stevenson's used to these type of games as the majority of their Mac Red games are within one score, and especially the big game last week against Gross Point South. Byers picked off by Madonna. And that's Madonna. exactly what you want if you're Stevenson to start this second half. Byers rolled out to the left side. Kwiatkowski was given chase like a madman. Ended up getting a good shot in on Byers. And as Bio Byers let it go, Madonna stepped in front of it. And what they avoided to do all in the first half and only the second play of the second half for Ford turning the ball over, and that's not what you wanted to do. Stevenson with the chance to even the field here. Down a score coming into the second half here. Forcing the turnover in the second play of the first. Not even taking a minute off the clock after having five minutes. Was, what was the average in their first half? 4-2 looking to their sideline for a little bit of help from their fans. Madonna's going to give to Kwiatkowski full speed ahead. Goes the big man. 2-2 two, two, all the way down to the 18-yard line. Something tells me we're gonna see a heavy dose of the big fella here on this drive. Had around 67 yards in the first half on, I don't, I forget how many carries he had, but it was around 67 yards total in that first half. Titans down eight, now with the ball on the 19 yard line, Madonna under center. There's Kwiatkowski on the counter, cuts it back up. Still going. All the way down inside the 15 yard line. Looks like it'll be spotted at around the 12 yard line. Pick up of a first down for the Titans. Uh, another, enough room to pick up another first down before the end zone. They'll stay in that single back formation with Madonna under center. This time they're gonna stretch the left side. Kwiatkowski, two hands over the ball. Marches up the middle into the end zone. On cue. Opening minutes of the third quarter. Jordan Kwiatkowski powers his way up the middle. From 18 yards out. And just like that, the Titans able to put a ball in the end zone from Biagio Madonna in the final two minutes of the first half. Open things up with the defensive interception and an offensive touchdown to start the second half. Two point ball game with the extra point to come. Kick is up and good. That makes the score Henry Ford 22, Stevenson 21. We should be in store for another great game here, Mac. You can feel that momentum. Jumped right back to the Titan side to start this second half now. as this sideline is fired up. Well, that's a quick quick drive to recap, not even taking a minute off the clock, three plays, and Karkowski getting all 27 yards on that drive, bringing them back within one. So the Falcons will get the ball back, pending a clean return here with 10 minutes and seven seconds on the clock in the third quarter. Still up a point. High end over end kick into the corner, fielded at the 11 yard line. Here comes off. Sprints out to the hash and cuts it back right. Jumps over a lane. The man oh. And finally shoestring tackled. Tripped up at around the 46 yard line. Brought down by a boot. This awe oh, fell forward another five yards after he was tripped up. He was off and running. So a great return by the Falcons to answer the Stevenson turnover and touchdown. And that's one of those things that can bring some of that momentum right back onto your sideline as the Falcons come back 
Out onto the field, the ball will be spotted at midfield on the right hash. We'll see what the Falcons draw up here. Nielsen and Williams in the backfield, splitting buyers. They're gonna give to Nielsen, left side. Through the gap, he's got speed. But Kwiatkowski able to chase him down. Might wanna watch out for a horse collar there. I don't know if that ref was reaching for his flag before he got knocked down. I think he got him around the waist or around the body. Spun him out of bounds. As the referee hit the turf, he's gonna shake that off, return to action. But it's a pickup of four yards for Nilsson, working the left side. Man, you can really start feeling that temperature dip. Well, within the next hour and a half here, again, I mean, temperatures are gonna reach the low 40s. We started at around 60. I know the afternoon started at around 72. Getting our final taste of summer and a heavy dose of fall weather-wise tonight in our week nine game of the week. And as the Falcons move the chains Good way via the ground game, Good way to start getting the momentum building and hopefully taking up that time. Well, that's where they were successful in that first half. Ground and pound, grind it out, drive. And of course, Byers striking at the right time for the Falcons. Here's Nilsson now, right side. He's gonna be wrapped up in the backfield by Kwiatkowski for a tackle for a loss. Klein Adler back there as well. He dropped at the 44 yard line. That'll bring up second and 14 for the Falcons. There's that man again. Those of you just joining us, Henry Ford too, in the maroon pants with the gold jerseys tonight. Maroon helmet, Stevenson, the traditional blue home uniforms with the right white stripe down the pants. They accent it with the pink socks tonight. Pink the theme here at Runkle Field on the Stevenson Titan sideline. Second down and 14. Two in the backfield for the Falcons. Byers drops back to pass, looks oh, left. Man. He's gonna be knocked down by Madonna. Piaggio Madonna getting it in defensively right now with the interception on the last possession. Leads the Titans down the field for a touchdown and then comes up big on the sack. Off the blitz there, Byers. Thought he was going to be able to escape right. Whole walked different. right into Madonna. Whole different feeling or vibe coming off that Stevenson sideline in the second half. Uh, we talked about it. We could hear them coming out of that locker room. And again, that's a that's a decent walk for the Titans. So you know that they got down to business at halftime. All of them locked in right now. Look at that sideline. All as one unit right there. The Titans doing everything they can to try and get this defense pumped up as we're gonna get a timeout, timeout called by Coach Smith of the Falcons. That's their first charge timeout of the half. They were able to use them. Similar to how Stevenson used theirs in the first half after trying to lose that momentum early on. Hopefully they can regroup like Stevenson did. Yeah, this one might not have been when they wanted to take the first one. That might have been the first rush timeout by the Falcons of the night. But man, what does that two point attempt and that two point conversion make that difference right now? First drive of the game, Falcons coming out and the Captain Jack after their first score, running with that two point conversion, caught the Titans on their heels. Like that name, Captain Jack. That is the difference in this one. Falcons holding on to a one point lead. Fresh off the Henry Ford two timeout. 7.03 on the clock here in the third quarter. Big third down conversion for the Falcons. By no means an emergent situation, but you can feel that momentum starting to shift. They want to hold on to it as long as possible. Quick three and out would do the trick for the Titans. There's that There's play that opposite side. Statue of Liberty with Nilsson underneath. Man, Look what a kid. run. Physical run all the way down to the 29 I think yard they line. Might, I think they might go for this one. I First think you got down. to. 
It looks like that ball's gonna be spotted just inside of the 30. That was the play they scored on. Oh, they're gonna the give him the possession. first. Yes, they are. Oh, hold it, hold tight, hold tight. Oh, hold it, now that the line judge over there was slow, giving him the first down. Slow but things down here yeah, at Runkle slow Field. Down. Slow down. That looks like the chain was put right on the 30 yard line. And that ball is about six inches short. The first time that Ford has not converted on third down tonight. That's a, that's a statistic, but I tell you what, they picked up 19 yards there off a beautiful play. You might as well give it to them. Fourth and six inches, give to Nilsson. He's got a crease. He did have a crease. Tripped up by a boon back there. Touchdown saving tackle. It looked like Nilsson could have sprung it if he got by that last defender working the left side. Looked like he was starting to break it out. Falcons came out in that heavy, heavy goal line set. And they're gonna hurry up and come right back to the line. Nilsson left side, quickly bottled up by the Titans. Tackled at the line of scrimmage there by number 16 first, Justin Smith. Came in full speed and wrapped up Nilsson. Dropped him on contact. So it'll be second down and 10 now for the Falcons. Again, the play that keeps on replaying in my mind is that Statue of Liberty underneath counter to Nilsson that set up that fourth and six inches. Just a beautiful play design and it's worked three times now for the Falcons. Titans haven't had an answer for it. Byers stays under center, three in the backfield. They're gonna go counter left side, pull a couple of linemen. Titans were ready for it. That's Leduc in on the play, couple of tackles for Leduc tonight. The junior linebacker forces a third down and 10 for the Falcons. But again, another drive that's eating up clock for the Falcons. This one, they came well over five minutes. They got the ball with 10.03 left in the third quarter. Now rolling close to the 4.15 mark and counting. Byers goes back to the shotgun. I believe that's Nilsson set to the left. It is. They're going to give it to him. Counter coming back. Nowhere to go, but danced forward for about a yard able to get back to the line of scrimmage. We'll see what the Falcons do with their special teams here. Looks like they're going to attempt a field goal. This one will be into the side wind. Again, that wind coming in from the, feels like from the Northwest. On a, uh, All these flags around the stadium. 39, 40 yard field goal here. It'll be officially a 39 yard field goal from just inside the left hash for Andrew Johnson. There's the snap, there's the kick. Looks like it's got enough leg. Yes, sir. Right through the middle goes Andrew Johnson and an impressive field goal into a side win from 39 yards out. Puts it through. And the Falcons able to take time off the clock and come away with points. They push it to a four point lead now. 25 to 21 here in our week nine game of the week. Stevenson now needing a touchdown to take the lead. So Ford two doing a great job of settling down after that opening interception of the second half and answering the touchdown that Stevenson scored to draw this one within one point. And it'll be back up to the Falcon defense to keep the energy going for the Falcons now. As we toss things over to Jack Hartley to recap that Falcon drive that resulted in that 39 yard field goal. While taking 12 plays, the most that we've seen from any team tonight and eating up the most clock they have tonight, almost taking seven minutes off just under. They started with 10 3 now with 3.22 remaining left in the third quarter. But they did what they needed to do and is now forcing Stevenson to have to score a touchdown if they want to take the lead. 
So the Falcons able to get back to their offensive game plan. They've scored on four of their five drives now. Three touchdowns, a field goal. 80% uh, conversion rate, that's what you want to see from any team. The one drive they did not score was an interception by the Titans. This ball falls over off the tee again. Just under 10 minutes ago in this in this ball game as far as game time is concerned. As we brace ourselves down again for another gust of wind on top of the press box here at Runkle Field. All hands on deck, grab the computer, grab the audio board. And it falls over again. <laughs> and grab the ball. Yeah, there you go, somebody come hold it. Stevenson making adjustments too, running the switches to players back and forth in their formation. Yes, they are, that's Reyes they're gonna send back into the deep line in that second line on the right side. So Ford now taking 22 minutes around of time of possession so far in this game. Uh, yeah, that possession only resulted in three points, but it did the job. can't talk about how big that was. The shoemate lets that one drop just inside the 10 yard line, bounces around, looks like he had a gap and hit it for a minute. Turn nothing into something all the way back out to the 22 yard line. And Stevenson hasn't seen the ball since 11 minutes left in this uh, third quarter. Shoemate was finally brought down by Aiden Sheridan. Looked like if Sheridan didn't get him, Shoemate could have busted that one deep. But instead it'll be Titans first and 10 from their own 23 yard line. As that wind continues to gust through. And you can feel the wind itself is getting colder as Madonna's gonna work from under center to open up this drive. Kwiatkowski, the lone back. Give to Kwiatkowski up the middle, shakes a tackle, shakes two tackles. Runs over the third, all the way out to the 31 yard line. Check that 32 yard line. Pick up a nine on first down. Fun to Imagine watch that man right run the him. ball. Yeah, they, they yes go. sir, they do, same play and why not? Falcons do a lot better of a job. I don't think he got it. Clogging up the middle this time. Does not look like he got any forward gain, so third and short will be the situation. Nice job by the big men up front for the Falcons, clogging those gaps. Another heavy gust of wind. And at this point, we just hope we can get through this one. It's getting cold. Shoemate, left side, dances around, speed, there he goes. 40, 30, 20, giving chases off. Finally gets him out of bounds. Shoemate hit that left side, caught the edge, and outran the entire defensive pursuit. Around up, I think a 53 yard run if I'm doing the calculations right on that one. All oh, able to push him out of bounds at the 17 yard line. Titans once again inside the Falcon red zone. Titans getting it going offensively now. Right back to Shoemate, why not? Spins out of a tackle, stiff arms a man. Big time run once again for Shoemate. And you can see it, he's feeling himself. All the way down to the one and a half, two yard line, first and goal. As Shoemate's gonna come out for a breath, check that, they're gonna leave him in there. As Kwiatkowski's gonna come off the field after checking in. This is exactly what we were talking about last week with big plays in Stevenson, the way that they're able to capitalize and quickly move the ball. I think Shoemate wants that touchdown. As they're gonna Ford's have using to our second timeout now. burn their second timeout. Late man, trouble's getting the 12th man off the field as it looked like Kwiatkowski checking in and then coming off the field and leaving Shoemate back in. Might have messed with the defensive personnel the Falcons were looking for. And one of the big fellas were late getting off the field. Coach Smith forced into burning his second timeout. So with 2.02 to play in the third quarter, we're just 10 minutes into the second half. The Falcons have already burned through two of the three timeouts. That's completely opposite of the first half. 25-21 Falcons. Titans with the ball first and goal from the two.
Shoemate will be the lone back in the backfield. Madonna under center. Tight splits by the Titan Stewart. The up back set to the left side. Here we go. Fresh off the timeout. Give to Shoemate. Lowers his shoulders. Punches ahead. Touchdown, Stevenson. It's all Tony Shoemate on that drive as the Stevenson Titans have taken their first lead of this ball game with one minute and 55 seconds on the clock here in the third quarter. Stevenson 27, Ford 2, 25. With the extra point to come, Captain Jack to the right side. And it looks like they're gonna bring it back in and attempt this kick. Tell you what, after Ford scored, on their two point conversion though, it keeps you on your toes after these touchdowns. So at some point, you know Stevenson's gonna wanna respond to that. Kick is up and good, 28, 25. Stevenson now with the three point lead. First one of our week nine game of the week. And Stevenson has everything rolling offensively now. They've scored twice in this third quarter. Stevenson doing the exact opposite of Henry Ford and only taking a minute 21 off the clock there and five plays and quickly moving first down after first down after first down with Shoemate and finally Shoemate capitalizing and giving Stevenson its first lead of the night. Quick score compliments of the big play gained by Tony Shoemate. Scampering down the sideline and it would have been an even quicker score if it wasn't for all shoving him out of bounds down at the 19 yard line. So 4-2 faces their first deficit of the night. See, if you're Henry Ford, you wanna you know, take a step back. You don't have to fast pace yourself. You, gotta, you can play at your own pace. There's more than enough time. Take another long drive, hopefully, and punch it right back in the end zone and take this lead as their goal right now. Absolutely, nothing emergent about needing a quick score. Most important focus for the Falcons at this point will be taking care of the ball. They've turned it over once tonight, still winning the turnover battle but if they can just keep grinding it out offensively on the ground. I mean, they've only stopped themselves, like you said, scoring on four of their five possessions. And the one drive that they didn't score it was just a two play interception drive. So they haven't really done anything besides that to hurt themselves. So Ford will set up on offense with confidence pending this kick return. High kick, short, fielding at the 16 yard line, up the middle. Rugby scrum out to the 33, 34, 35 yard line where the Falcons will set up shop first and 10 with 146 on the clock in the third quarter. Stevenson 28, Falcons 25. While we get a break, Mac, are you ready for some Big Ten football tomorrow? I'm ready for some Big Ten football tomorrow, Jack. I've, uh, it'll, fill, it'll fill a void that's been in my gut for the last eight weeks. Yeah, I know, it's been killing all of us in here in the Midwest. Can't wait to see both our uh, squads take the field tomorrow. New era at Michigan State, and hopefully Harbaugh can get a big win in his first game tomorrow at Minnesota. I know they've been put on upset alert by some of the mainstream media He's, outlets. That P.J. Fleck already. rolling the boat over there. Falcons take the field, first and 10. Two in the backfield, it'll be Nilsson, and Williams, Williams set to the right, Nilsson set to the left. Byers in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Ball deflected. On its way out by Justin Smith. Looks like it was intended for Matthew Awe. As Matthew Awe is a little slow to get up. There's a quick stop route, about five yards deep. Byers let it go to him. Nice job by Justin Smith tipping it away. Looked like Aw might have been able to bring it in off the tip drill, but it fell down to the turf, so it'll be second and 10 for the Falcons from their own 35 yard line. Titan Faithful trying to make some noise. Nilsson works the right side, cuts underneath the outside blocker. Nice job of Madonna 
getting off his block and bringing Nilsson down to the ground. Bring up third and nine. Personnel change for the Falcons. Looks like they're going to go with speed here and on this the, third down and long situation. And while they did pick up 20 yards on that last third down, that necessarily doesn't go down as a conversion. So right now they're 0 for 2 on third down, but yeah, they you really can't count that 20 yard play. That would have gained any other yardage. Fires drops back to pass. Left side, floats one over the middle. Almost picked off, but knocked away there by Adam Abood. Abood getting his name called a few times here in the second half now. That ball floated, looked like he had a chance of getting it. Fully committed to the interception, just couldn't get his hands on it to bring it in. Falcons will be forced to punt for the first time tonight with 47 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Abood's gonna be back deep for the, uh, for the Titans. Kick is away, high spiraling kick, end over end. Looked like it was off the right side of his foot. It was a booming kick. Lost a little bit with the direction, went out of bounds at, 39, at the 39 yard line, but did a great job. Something. Putting it up in the air with the spiral, it turned over for him. It's the type of things that make former kickers and special team coaches smile, just unfortunately put it a little bit too far right. And that's not what you want to see, only taking a minute five and a three and out there from uh, Henry Ford after Stevenson only taking a minute 21 off the clock to score in their last drive. So, so need Ford a big with the defensive quick stop here. Change of possession on that offensive possession. Late man getting in for the Titans. Madonna's gonna be under center. Brings Reyes tight off the top of your screen. Counter. counter. Well to played Kowski. there by Ford. Yeah. Nice job by the defensive end. Facing Kwiatkowski in. Kwiatkowski had to square his shoulders, squeeze in tight, squeeze in tight of a small gap. Able to pick up a yard and a half, two yards, Time bring up second here. and eight. Final 12, 15 seconds of the third quarter. We'll see if Stevenson runs another play. Once again, Madonna under center. It's the most we've seen Madonna under center all year long. But why change Alder's it? He ball. fumbles the ball. Able to jump on it though, snap fumbled. Tough exchange, but it was recovered by Madonna as the final seconds expire off the clock of the third quarter here in our week nine game of the week at Runkle Field. It's the battle of the turf between the Henry Ford two Falcons and the Stevenson Titans. We're gonna flip sides and take a minute break for these two teams to talk about it before the fourth quarter plays out. But we said it Jack, we were in store for another good ball game tonight. Throw out the records, throw out the divisional differences. The Falcons came to play their rivals tough tonight bragging rights for the home turf. As you see the Stevenson and the Henry Ford, two end zones painted in this one. And I know I mentioned earlier, Dakota's final score from the night, they defeated Traverse City Central 14, 42 to 16 tonight. That's a big win. Looks like DJ Snepney had another Cougars. big game. They also share the Mac Red title with the Stevenson Titans. Their only loss came to the hands of the Titans in a low scoring affair at Cougar Stadium. They dropped that one to the Titans 12-7, I believe, in the second week of the shortened season, which would have been week five. And the only way that Dakota scored in that game was off of a deflected punt from uh, Stevenson's own end zone that they recovered in the air. Third down and 10, give to Kwiatkowski right side, powers his way ahead. Looks like that shove gave him it. Yes, sir, Kwiatkowski with a big pickup all the way out to midfield. First down, Titans. Picking up their fourth first down of the half. That one coming off of a third down and 10. Most teams might try and spread that field, throw the ball around. Titans? Not when you have him in the backfield. Give it to the workhorse to let him go. That's what they did. 
Kwiatkowski stays in the backfield. Stewart is up back, set to the right side. Madonna tightens in his wide receivers a little bit. This time fakes to Kwiatkowski. Going deep That's over top. Up. This one's gonna be picked off by Awe. Nice job of going up and get it. And he's got some speed in a return. But a nice tackle by an offensive lineman. So the Falcons come up big once again. Fresh off of the third down conversion on first and 10. The Titans go play action, try and go up, go up over top. I think maybe that was the game plan there for them going consistently under center, maybe trying to draw everybody in on uh, Jordan Kwiatkowski. And they try taking the shot over the top, but ah, just in great position there. That was a nice defensive play by the senior. He's had himself a nice game, offensively and defensively. We'll see if they try and get him involved offensively after the turnover. But that is the third turnover forced by the Falcon defense. Let's see. And when you're the underdog, that's what it takes in the recipe to knock off the giant. Fires back to pass. Play action, sprints out to the right. Might He's just tuck it and run. He's going to. And while you're saying they may be the underdog, they don't view themselves as the underdog. They come into this game as anybody else, and especially they're not intimidated by Stevenson being up in the red, and especially winning the Mac red this year. Byers was tripped up by LaDuke. And if Byers would have got around him, he very well could have picked up another 15 or 20 yards. So a nice saving tackle by the outside linebacker. It'll be second down and a very long one for the Falcons. Ball spotted just inside the 41 yard line. They gotta get just outside of the 42 yard line. Nilsson set to the right side of Byers. Kwiatkowski coming in on the blitz. Nice job of picking it up by the Falcons. Nice job by Nilsson. Nilsson straight ahead, fighting his way through tackles. Don't let that young man spin out of one of those arm tackles. It looks like he's just a ticking time bomb waiting to get out of one of those tackles and take it to the house. But those are the type of runs that energize a sideline and energize a fan base. It's also the type of drive that keeps the clock moving. Picking up a first set, a new set of downs is 4-2 as we reach the 10 minute mark of the fourth quarter. Three point ball game and the one and four Falcons marching on the Mac Red champion Titans. Let's see if they can keep it rolling and keep capitalizing on this opportunity. There's Williams trying to go up the middle but bounces it outside, looks nothing like, doing. Looks like Madonna met him there, great, great job off the edge. And on the play was the big fella, Giovanni El Hadi as well. So not only do you have to deal with Kwiatkowski coming flying up the middle, you gotta deal with Dahani on the outside. Well, Giovanni's the type of man that makes the rest of his team better as well. And if he's not, if Kwiatkowski isn't big enough, throw in El Hadi to that defensive line. Tall task for any team that has to face them this year in the playoffs. Committed to the University of Michigan. Second down and 10 now for the Falcons. Ball in Titan territory. Oz all by himself down low here. Ball. Fumbled the handoff right exchange. To Titans pick it up. Fires handing the ball off to Williams up the middle. Looked like there was a miscommunication. And that ball just dropped into no man's land. Nobody around it. As the Titans were able to come in there and hop on it. And that stops what would have been another classic Henry Ford drive in this game. They'd only taken off three minutes just by gaining one first down. So the Titans in business up three. Now take over first and ten now I gotta at hope midfield their can come and hold again. with eight minutes and 50 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Stevenson with a chance to lean on the Falcons if they can get some points on this drive. Starting off right where they left off, they fumbled right here and they're through the interception right on the 50 last time. Kwiatkowski up the middle, gets skinny through the gap. Wow, he just does it all. Linebacker shooting that gap. Looked like he had a chance to meet him at the line of scrimmage. But the big fella just gracefully 
glides right by him and takes it all the way down to the 42 yard line. As we finally get a quick break from the wind, man, that has been in our face all game long. Yeah, before this play, it'll be right back up, I guarantee it. Right back to Kwiatkowski. Again, well played, just gotta get bodies to the ball. Kwiatkowski again making the first man miss. Picks up a yard, third and one. Kwiatkowski's gonna need a breather. In comes Shoemate. The speedster, lone back in the backfield with Stewart, the up back set to the right side. So far, Stevenson one for one on third down. Make it two for two. Shoemate, off tackle, straight up the field, no dance in all business. Out to the 36 yard line. I tell First you what, down. Jack, I don't think you were born yet, but this game has a familiar feeling that brings back the 80s and the 90s. Two big Utica Community School teams battling it out on Runkle Field on a Friday night late in the season. He would know that better than I did. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Shoemate stays in the backfield for the Titans. Stewart remains as the up back. Madonna taking his time. Quick snap, give to Shoemate right side. There got a hole. There he is. Runs right by the defenders. We got a flag. Back. This one's coming back, I but believe. But Shoemate all the way down to the 10 yard line and ripped out of bounds at the eight. As the white hat places the, the flag is, down at the 35, back. waving everybody back, gives the official signal of a hold. That could end up being huge. huge. You'll see. I know we watched that happen a couple of times last week on big plays coming back due to a holding call. So instead of first down and 10 inside the 10 yard line at the eight, it will be second down and 19 at the 45 yard line. Just like that, one penalty changes the landscape of this offense. But we are, but one thing we've seen tonight is the quickness of Stevenson to get the ball from one end to the other, and they also have that big play capability at all times. Now you watch that play develop. The timing was just perfect. The back judge saw something we didn't, and it'll bring it back to the 45-yard line. Madonna under center. Kwiatkowski checks back in. They're going to go counter to the left side. He's got a gap. Powers his way ahead. Picks up the penalty yardage back, and here comes the rugby scrum. That's just gotta be demoralizing. We see that week after week. You get the big kid stood up, you're even underneath his shoulder pads, and all of a sudden there's a rugby scrum, and the referees won't blow the ball dead because the forward progress just keeps going forward. Got 13 back on that play. More than the first down so yard, the contact, more than the penalty yardage. The contact was six yards before that. Kwiatkowski able to pick up all the penalty yardage plus a few more. Second down and six now. Like we were saying, he does never, he never goes down on first contact. Slowing it down is the Titans. There's the counter play. This time they're gonna stay to the right side though, so nice it was a misdirection block. Misdirection block by Stewart. Kwiatkowski works the right side. And Nilsson came up, squared up his shoulder pads. And able to drop the big fella. Coming over, looks like a third and three here. Pick up of only a couple yards. We're under halfway through. We're over halfway through the fourth quarter. Five minutes, 45 seconds on the clock. And ticking here at Runkle Field. Shoemate in the backfield now for the Titans. Stewart at the up back on the right side. Madonna gets the snap, right side, Shoemate, speed. And it looked like he had that same gap, just not as much room to run through on it as they worked the short side of the field, but a first down by Shoemate. And again, the speedster telling Coach Newcomb, feed me. And now Stevenson giving Ford a little bit of their own medicine, taking the time off the clock, trying to waste it down. Yes, they are. 5.20 on the clock. That's what happens, though. you got to keep that ball in your control, and that's Ford's giving it up twice here in the second half, and now it's uh, biting them in the butt. Shoemate was the big hitter on the last drive for the Titans. He'll 
picked up another big chunk of yards, but it was brought back on a holding play. Here he goes again, stuck by Nilsson, but falls forward down to the 15 yard line. And every time Shoemate touches the ball. He uses that speed. He's a, he uses it right and uses it's it right. It's a very right quick stride. first step. And it's so quick, he's able to bring power behind that frame as well. Looks like Korakowski's back in the game. Set in the backfield by himself. Stewart, the up back to the right side. Ball set at the 15 yard line. It'll be second down and five. Reaching four minutes right now on time of possession on this drive. One of the longer drives for the Titans here. After only taking a minute 21 on that scoring drive last time. Up three, definitely want to come away with points here. Kwiatkowski right side. Ford two starting to pick up the offensive pattern of that play. Nice job by Nilsson and Morgan. Squaring up Kwiatkowski and dropping him at the 13 yard line. It'll bring up third and three for the Titans. Let's see what they draw up here. If they'll go right back to him and play it safe or if they'll uh, maybe go to play action, I don't know. Madonna waiting for the hand of the official to go up, winding that clock down as much as he can. Kwiatkowski straight ahead, he loses ball. the ball again. Ball goes into the end zone, still bouncing around. Looks like it'll be a touchback. By the Falcons wow. for a touchback. And Henry Ford, too, comes up huge defensively. Wow. Gets a helmet on the ball. And Kwiatkowski coughs it up for the second time tonight. He had a head of steam and looked like he was one tackle away from hitting the end zone. But that ball popped out and floated through the air. It looked like the Falcons were gonna jump on it. And it squeaked out again, traveled into the Stevenson end zone. And Stevenson's longest drive, they had 11 plays on that drive, taking over five minutes and results in nothing. And now gives Henry Ford the perfect opportunity. I mean, it may be a little quicker than they want like that from that five minute mark but more than enough time to just take a so solid drive down there and get some points. Fourth forced turnover by that Falcon defense against the mighty Titans of the Mac Red. And 3.40 on the clock, down three, the Falcons have a chance to work four minute offense to win this ball game. Nilsson, straight up the middle, bounces left. Kwiatkowski coming in to clean it up as it was Stewart That was Stewart and Cameron Wilson. Want to make sure we get that young man's name called number 56. Was in on that tackle as well. And it was Kwiatkowski cleaning it up. And Kwiatkowski didn't clean it up. Nilsson could have spun out of that and took it. But it'll be second down and eight now. Three minutes on the clock. Byers quickly lets it go. Top side of your screen. That was Santos Kipper quickly bringing that ball in on the hitch pass. Kwiatkowski in on the tackle once again. Big, big third down here. Third down and four is the third down Jack speaks of. He's 0 for 3 right now. Falcons 0 for 3 in the second half on third down conversions. And they need this one. They burnt two timeouts in the first 10 minutes. This is of their the ball game. Quarter. This is four down territory, in my opinion, for them. Well, they only got one timeout with two minutes and 20 seconds to go on the clock and it running. Unable to really run the ball and pound it like Score they Score at all costs. They got to the go Falcons. in the air. Byers drop back to pass. Let's it go right side. So he has it. Brought in by Kipper once again. First third down conversion, and it couldn't have come at a better time. That was a nice route. Ran his man deep. Sunk his hips, came back to the sideline. Nicely. Byers put it on him. As Santos Kipper was able to get out of bounds and pick up the first down. That's what you need. Win win for the Falcons there. Nice job. They'll stop the clock. Two minutes and six seconds to go. Fresh set of downs. Ball spotted at the 34 yard line. Titans clinging to a three point lead here in the Battle of the Turf. 
single back set for the Falcons. Two to the bottom. Fikowski, Fikowski right straight through the through. line. Timed it up. Byers is going to hit the deck. Tried to spin away from Kwiatkowski and was running into El Hadi and said, no, thank you. So that'll be a loss of about eight yards. Costly for the Falcons. The Jordan special. Now it's under two minutes. The blitz and they're all right the way up back the middle. And you saw Kwiatkowski had to hold himself up at that last minute there on his tippy toes. But the ball was snapped and he went straight through that line. Ford. Byers just had no other option. Ford still taking their time. They only have a minute 30 left. So here we go. Clock is running. Byers, play action, looking deep, lets it go, got a why, big oh. arm into a lot of coverage. Two Titans back there playing center field. Intended receiver was Santos Kipper. Incomplete, third down and long for the Falcons. And again, Jack, you mentioned it on the last third down that they were able to pick up. Four down territory for the Falcons. Score at all costs. Down three, a minute 14 on the clock. And Ford in control of this game for the most part, just outside of you know those two turnovers costing them here in the second half. Still time to make up for it, but man, they gotta get moving quick. Well, Stevenson offense has done a great job adjusting. They scored to cut the deficit right before half, got the forced to turn over. Here comes Kwiatkowski on the bridge right once through. again. You just can't do it. But they're going to get him with the flag. Looks like he might have been in the neutral zone. Might have touched the, the center right as he snapped the ball. They just haven't had an answer for it here in the second half. They picked it up nicely in the first half. And that'll help them running a lot. Plays, Five yards up. In the running, in the passing situations here late in this fourth quarter, Kwiatkowski shooting that A gap going to get dinged with the five yard encroachment. It might have been the first time we've seen the flag thrown on that blitz. He always seems to have it timed. At, at, usually by the end of the first drive, usually he's uh He's, he's just right a football player. He does it on offense, he does it on defense, and you he can does tell it that he's just a high IQ player. You know what we call those, Jack? Gamers. Third down and 13 for the Falcons. Big drive. Byers is going to go empty backfield this time. First time we've seen Three that. Three to the bottom of the screen for the Falcons. No blitz There's coming the off the edge. Quickly, Byers lets it go. Nilsson on the chance. backfield. There he is. He has it. Another third down conversion through the air. This one to Nilsson. Look at penalties once again coming into play a factor. Nilsson hauling that one in the mid range flat area. Turned around and used a burst of speed. His first step is just extremely quick. I mean, just as quick as anyone else on this field. And he generates a lot of power with it. We able to pick up the first down. 45 yard line, the ball will be put. We've had three straight classics in a row now between Chippewa and Growth Point South, this game we were here last year, and now another one within three points. Gotta love our Macomb Preps game of the week. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on YouTube. Still lots of football to go Makes here this season. With their feet. Byers rolls to the what right side, delivers a strike. Looks Looked like, like it, it was came out on in, the way down. But it was looks like it bounced off off his chest as he, as he was coming down. Came out of Kipper's hands as he was met by about two or three Titans breaking a, on that ball. But Byers delivered a strike. Under a minute now, 54 seconds. They need to get somewhere. You know we can hit the 40-yard field goal. They just need to really get back into that 23, 25-yard range. Second down and 10. And he has the arm to get it down there, so you know it's a possibility on every play coming up. Wind at his back as well, so that will help in the case of a knee for the deep ball. But right now, still plenty of time on the clock for the Falcons, especially with the speed they have in Nilsson. As the wind picks up once again. 28-25, ball on the 45, under a minute to go here in the fourth quarter. Falcons down three, Byers drops back, scrambles to the right, lets it go deep. Nielsen's Man coming there. back to get it, picked off if he stayed in bounds. He's saying no, he's saying but he didn't no, get the feet down. Didn't. That was a boot who came across and picked it off, unable to keep his feet in bounds though. 
Liked the idea, but he had three receivers at the other side of the field. Well, that was Nilsson downfield. Byers had to let it go on the run. Let it go down the sideline. And again, the arm strength is extremely impressive by Byers, just threw a rope. Nilsson was trying to fight back to get it, but he was walled off. And then a boot came streaking across that center field to make the catch. But again, unable to keep his feet in. Referees call him out of bounds. So instead of the Titans ball, it'll be third down and 10 for the Falcons, still from their 45 yard line. Two to each side. Nilsson in the backfield. Byers got his drops man. back. Another the third right down side. conversion. We'll see if he got in front of those chains. The pass took the route runner out of bounds. It was Aiden Sheridan on the route. They do give him the first down. He ran out of bounds right at the 45. So he picked up exactly to the inch what he needed to pick up the first down and keep this wow. drive alive. And now they only need another, another 20 yards or so to give him a chance. Another Mac Preps game of the week that has offered you everything. Entertaining game coming down to the final minute once again Back here and forth, one at Runkle game. Field. Titans only with one timeout on the scoreboard. They burn two early in the second half. Byers. There he is again. Oh. Gets the snap and lets it go quickly, but overthrows his man on the five yard out. That was intended for Sheridan once again. Tried to go right back to him. As Byers got that snap, took one step back and let it go. So it'll be second down and 10 for the Falcons. Temperatures continuing to fall here in Sterling Heights. Oh yeah, it is, you can feel it. Second down and 10 yards to go Just for the Falcons. Just for some good old Michigan high school playoff football. Kwiatkowski on the blitz, picked up this time by the Falcons. Byers let it go. What a go. pass. Drops it into a tight window, completion. Right to over Sheridan, the Sheridan, oh. right over the sticks and out of bounds. Right over the linebacker, right in between the safety, right where you needed it. Just a tight window, and Byers impresses once again. And another win-win for the Falcons. They pick up the first down and get out of bounds. 29 seconds on the clock. Doing what they need to. They need just 10 more yards or so to get him a chance. Final drive. We'll see what's in store. Could it be overtime here in our final regular season game? In our Macomb Area Conference coverage, empty backfield for Byers, forced out by Kwiatkowski. Nice pass deflection by Madonna. Kwiatkowski bringing the house once again. Byers had to bail upon getting the snap. And Madonna broke on that ball, went full extension. They gotta find a way to pick him up. Knocked it away, second down and 10. Kwiatkowski's caused major disruption on this final drive. Second down and 10 from the 34. a 4-2 Falcon coach. You're screaming, somebody block him, anybody block him. Empty backfield again for the Falcons. Three to the wide side, which is the bottom of your screen. They got him to jump. The Titans jump off sides, couple of them. Kwiatkowski going on that blitz. Encroachment is the call, five yard walk off. Brings the ball inside the 30 yard line, down to the 29. We've already seen one 39 yard field goal from the Falcons, field goal kicker. They're down three, 23 and a half seconds to play. One timeout for the Falcons. It's been a beautiful drive offensively for the Falcons. They picked up two third downs on third down in long situations. And now just needing five, so Titans, five to seven yards to get them within that field goal range and then maybe spike the ball. Titans have forced them into third down and longs, but the Falcons just doing a nice job of picking it up. Empty backfield. Byers calling out a hot route, looks to the left, lets it go to the pylon, looking for all. Oh! Just a step over, just a step over. It's a nice job by Shoemate. No flag on the play. He had all tied up all the way down, locked up arm in arm with him, stride for stride, causing the ball to be overthrown. Falcons going for the home run ball. So if you're forward right now, are you playing for the field goal or are you playing to get 
in the end zone right here on this third down. You taking a shot? Such a tough, such a tough thing to call, Jack. You know, especially not being the one calling the game all game long. You know, it really depends on how you feel it. I mean, I mean, if you get that first down, four that clock Mac stop. Team, you're a one and four Mac White team with the Mac Red champs on the ropes in the battle of the turf. I completely understand going for the win or the field goal. They go for the field. Ball tipped up in the air, but it falls to the ground incomplete. Could have been dangerous. That one was intended for Kipper. If he could have hauled it in, it would have been a first down and maybe more as he had the middle of the field with a little bit of room to run. But it'll fall incomplete, fourth down and five. So here's the decision that you were just speaking of, Mr. Hartley, 12.7 seconds on the clock. One timeout for the Falcons, ball on the 29. Now they have time here if they want to get something short, get the first down, so get it up and it. So it'll be about a 46-yard field goal if they elect to go for that. But it looks like they're going to keep the offense on the field. We'll see if they use the third and final timeout or if Stevenson burn one, burns one after this formation lines up. Empty backfield as Byers sends Nilsson to the slot on the top side. Falcons quickly try and get that snap off, but the Titans call a last second timeout. Falcons were trying to give Stevenson no time to read that offense as Byers sent Nilsson to the top side where the Falcons had two trips to the wide side on your bottom of the screen. Looked like Byers was gonna take that ball and sprint right out to the right side, Nilsson's way. But the Titans able to get that timeout call in at the last second, referees blow it dead. So with 10.7 seconds on the clock here at Runkle Field, it's a fourth down and five for the Falcons. Got to pick up the first down or score. They do have one timeout. And they got this ball with three minutes and 40 seconds left in the, in the game. So they've done what they needed to and they've done exactly what they've given a, themselves a chance to win the ball game by taking up the last 340 that they needed. The highly touted Stevenson Titan defense with an opportunity to win it for their team right here coming up with the stop if they can do it. Here we go. Could be the last play of the ball game for the Falcons. Empty backfield. Nilsson set to the inside. There's the fly motion all the way across. Four to the bottom Looks side like that now. right tackle moved. And a detrimental penalty called on the Falcons. Ball start is the call, five yard march off, back him up. That'll make it fourth down and 10 and push the ball out to the 34 yard line. So instead of five yards, Ford's gotta pick up 10. And turnovers and penalties in the second half. Two turnovers and that's their second offensive penalty here in the second half. That has been the ingrown toenail for the Falcons. Because I think if they don't throw in that the interception, half, if they don't throw that interception on the second play of the, the half, I think they take up another five, six minutes and keep going. The first half was clean. They went to the locker room with uh, with a lead. It was doing part to no penalties and no turnovers. Here we go. Fourth down and ten. Byers looking right side. Let's it go. He's got his man. Fumbled the ball. Ball still popping around. We'll see who's got it. That was Santos Kipper with the reception, but it looked like it was knocked out by Shoemate. Titans jump on that ball. That's Dylan Kleinedler coming out of that scrum with his hands on the ball. As Kwiatkowski gets a hand up from the ground and the Titan faithful on their feet, making some noise here at Runkel Field. 2.9 seconds on the clock. And it looked like Santos Kipper had a chance to pick up that first down. It would have been close, but that ball knocked out of his hands. Titans take over. Victory formation, just need a clean snap as these two teams show each other their respects before the final snap. Piaggio Madonna at task. There's the snap, takes a step back, kneels it down, and wow. this one what is over. Game. 16 plays on that final drive for Ford, picking up four first downs and taking up 338 of that three minutes, 40 seconds left on the clock. But man, 
What a ball game, Mac. What a ball game. Hats off to the Falcons. They gave, they gave, gave us for their money. They did. They gave us everything we were looking for in this game of the week. We wanted everything but a game that was not close, and we got the exact exactly what we wanted. We didn't want this. Seeing what the records were, but again, you have to throw those out the window. And a lot of teams looking in, they you can say that Ford was the underdog, but they did not certainly did not play like one tonight. Ford two came out swinging, but fell to the hands of the Mac Red champion Stevenson Titans. As the Titans wrap up their 2020 regular season campaign with just one loss on the season and a victory here in the Battle of the Turf as we wrap things up in our 2020 regular season coverage Jerry Mack Jack Hartley and the rest of the Mack Preps production crew we appreciate you joining in for our high school coverage up next next week high school playoffs we look forward to it thanks for tuning in we'll see you next Friday here on Macomb Preps YouTube have a good night everyone